AITA for getting a memorial tattoo of my dog but not one for my late son? My chocolate lab. Bear. Passed away. He was nearly 15 and lived a good long life. After he passed. I had him cremated and then opted to have a memorial tattoo done. They took a small amount of his ashes and mixed it with tattoo ink and I got a tattoo of a grizzly. Bear on my right shoulder. My wife is beyond pissed off about it. When I showed her the final work and told her about using my dog's ashes she lost it and has been. Telling me I am the biggest asshole in the world. Four years ago we lost our son to SIDS when he was just six weeks old. It was devastating for my wife and we nearly lost our marriage over it. With the help of therapy and couples counseling we pulled through and are actually expecting our second in four months. My bare tattoo seems to have reopened old wounds though. My wife keeps going back and forth between wanting to divorce me. Make me get the bare tattoo removed or demanding I also get a tattoo for our late son. I don't want to do any of these things and have refused to remove my tattoo or get an additional one. I am really tired of being called an asshole. So am I the one in the wrong here? I won't even vote because this is so depressing. But, seriously, why post here? Even if everyone else on Reddit and in the entire world agreed with your take on this. It genuinely wouldn't matter. Your wife the mother of your children, doesn't like what you've done. You hurt her and she's mad. If you think showing her a bunch of internet points of people taking your side will change how she's feeling, you're kidding yourself. What does it matter if a bunch of strangers say you're right? They're not living with you. They're not the ones who will leave you. I hope your new baby is born healthy and stays safe. And maybe when you see that child do and become all the things your son will never get to. You'll start to mourn what could have been more like your wife does now. For now, I would tread lightly and be very kind to your wife. For the sake of all of you. Nah. It's up to you to get whatever tattoo you want. That being said, I understand why your wife is pissed off about it. You even said for yourself that your child's passing was devastating for your wife. Not the both of you. Your wife. That comment and your tattoo of the dog but not your son suggests you cared more about the dog. The tattoo this is honestly not that great but what pushes you into true raging awe category is your disgusting, callous and cruel attitude toward your grieving pregnant wife and also your disregard and indifference to the child you lost. Info. Why don't you want a memorial tattoo for your son? YTA. You're not off for getting a tattoo however I don't blame your wife for being upset. From the comments and post you don't seem to care that he was also your son. Your wife will never get over the fact she lost her child because well it her child. You willing to get a tattoo of your guy's dog but not your son makes me feel confused. He was a person. He was your kid also but from the wife's point of view. You just don't care. It doesn't matter how old he was when he passed he was still your guy's child. Why are you so against getting a tattoo of your son? Or at least the date he passed? If you are willing to get a dog's tattoo then maybe also get your dead son's one as well. If anything she sounds unhappy in this marriage from many others issues not mentioned. So don't be surprised if she actually leaves because of this. I find it interesting that you say it was devastating for your wife. Not for us. Not for her and I. It seems she is upset about lack of emotion from your son. YTA and disregard your wife's feelings. She should leave you for someone more compassionate. YTA. The way this is worded does make it seem like your dog trumps your child. Your wife will never get over it. Maybe divorce is the best option. YTA. I was all like get what you wanted tattooed but your comments about not being devastated about a child dying. 
your child or comments about no happy memories or it being six sleepless weeks if my husband spoke like that about our child i'd want a divorce because this is our life that we brought into the world i had ppd and didn't immediately bond with my oldest son but i know if he died i would never refer to him with such dismissive language also six weeks is plenty of time for a baby to be a little human you learn how they like to be held how they like to be dressed what cried they have i don't know if you even loved your son but you sure as hell dgaf about how your wife feels enough to even care if i get a divorce oh we'll just leave her then so i'm confused do you know understand your own wife you should at least have had some sort of expectation of how she'd feel about the choice you made did you mention it to her beforehand it doesn't feel like you remotely understand what she could have went through heck it really does feel like you didn't care much for the kid you don't need to bend to her every whim but it doesn't sound like you even acknowledged her pain even though you just lost a beloved pet i'm gonna go with yta not because you're grieving your dog but because you seem oblivious uncaring about how the person you married even feels about it all your dog is a softer grief a lot of emotions go into the loss of a child to sids guilt anger low self-esteem despair these are not rational except despair or easy to process a tattoo serves as a visible reminder the sight of which brings memories to mind fairly immediately not everyone can handle constant reminders of an event that traumatic a dog who died of old age on the offer hand usually only has sadness and fond memories nta initially i was going to say nah but then i read through some of your comments and it's pretty clear that you're annoyed that your wife is checks notes mourning the death of her first child i won't be getting a memorial tattoo for my son if it means the end of my marriage then it means the end of my marriage i wanted a memorial for bear because he and i had happy times my short relationship with my son did not i don't want to have a permanent reminder of it on my body this comment is where i started to wonder if you have difficulty empathizing with others generally you state that you are willing to end your marriage over a tattoo of your dog okay but the part that really disgusts and disturbs me is the self-centered narcissistic way that you view relationships to others you care more about your dog because your dog did more for you and provided you more personal benefit than your baby that died several weeks after birth like i don't even know what to say to that it's so appalling hard yta i can see your side and your wife's side with her being pregnant and so close to giving birth i can only imagine all the thoughts going through her head she's probably wondering how much time she'll have with this baby outside the womb if she'll get to see this child grow up and become a successful human being i see your side about the tattoo yet not when it comes to your first son that passed sure he was only here for six weeks but how could you not have formed some kind of bond in those six weeks the answers you are giving are coming off cold and callous and i think that is why you are getting so much flack and push back i think maybe you guys need to revisit counseling both couples and individual if you stopped going based on your comments yta you actually seem irritated that your wife is still grieving and takes issue with you making it clear that the loss of your dog has a much more profound affect on you than the loss of your child it doesn't matter how old the child was when he passed he was your child and in her eyes you just really don't care you went out of your way to get a tattoo done that you had to know would bother her and then proudly show it off to a pregnant woman living in fear that something will happen to her second child as if she would be excited that you honored your dog she isn't she won't be make it easy and simple for yourself get a divorce it's gonna happen 
YTA. In the comments you corrected someone for saying, your wife's son, by saying, our late son, but. From your previous comments. You didn't really see him that way or if you did. Which I highly doubt. It wasn't with the unconditional overwhelming love that is supposed to go with being a parent. I'm leaning towards. He was one half my DNA. But I didn't know him, spend time with him so he wasn't really my son. I only knew my son for six sleep deprived and chaotic weeks. I never really got the chance to know him and bond with him. He never got the chance to become a person. He was a person. Your wife carried him for nine months. Birthed him. Took care of him. Etc. You could have bonded with him for sure had you decided to do that. Just own up to the fact that you cared more for your dog than your kid because you had more time. With it. Info needed. Why did your wife only know about the tattoo until it was finished? Why was the tattoo not a picture of the dog? Why no tattoo for your firstborn son? Very much leaning towards YTA because there seems to be a lack of communication and empathy on your part. I wish people would quit blaming hormones she lost a child she will never get over it. Obviously he didn't care and that's gotta hurt too. I can't believe she got pregnant again with him. She needs to take her kid and find somebody who's gonna treat her well and care. You have every right to tattoo whatever you want on your body so NTA for that. But why TA emo because you seem insensitive about the sudden unavoidable loss of your infant son. Also tattoos are a pretty big purchase most of the time in permanent. You didn't think that was something you should discuss with your wife? Likewise, hey I am going to get this thing permanently put on my body and spending dollar x on it, ever. Said? Not that you should ask for permission but communication about it before you came home with the tattoo seems like it would have been healthy. YTA. The tattoo suggests the dog was more important than your child. As someone who's lost a child I can say she will mourn forever and never truly heal from the loss of the life she carried, birthed, and watched over. She will always wonder, what if I did XYZ different maybe he'd still be here. Your dog lived a very long and full life while the child's was cut way too short leaving your wife. Traumatized and hurting. Sure you're free to get whatever tattooed on you but it's definitely Seuss you memorialized your dog. And not your child. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.